Hello everyone, I am Erika of beadingschool.com and you are watching Coffee Time with Erika, my weekly BD broadcast. Today I would like to show you what's inside the next Beading School Academy theme box and tell you about our newest source of inspiration. Please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. It would be super nice, as you might have noticed, I'm actually in a different place now. So not in my usual, uh, not with my usual technical settings. So I'm anxious to see if you can hear me and see me. And I see Lutka joining. Lutka, I'm in the same country as you are at the moment. Sarah is here. And Ariana says, hello, can see and hear you. Then thank you so much, Ariana, for letting me know. And Terry is here. Jill is here. Antoinette is here. Happy Tuesday, Antoinette and everyone. Hello, Sherry and Christina. And Sarah is very excited and I'm excited too. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm super excited. It's actually one year since we have started the Beading School Academy. <laughs> so this is our anniversary time, the seventh box, the seventh theme that we are exploring. And it's so nice to share the, it was so nice to share the whole past year together with you. It felt like a continuous huge adventure with bi monthly little Christmases, as the lady said today. And <laughs> when, when, we, when we learned about the new boxes. And also, it's super nice to spend time now with you now. And I'm, I can't wait to show you what's inside the box and tell you about the theme that was on my mind for quite some time now and that I would like to bring you for the next two months. And in the meanwhile, Tanya is here. We have some Facebook user friends. So just a little bit of information. You can watch today's broadcast live from the Beading School Facebook page and from the Beading School Club. And in case that you are watching from the club, then you might need to give permission to my broadcasting program to see your name and face by clicking on the link about the video. And then later I will also upload the video on YouTube. So if you are watching from YouTube, then it's the recording that you are watching. But if you will have questions, if you have questions, then just type them in in a comment and we return daily to answer them all. And Sunshine is here. Thank you, Sunshine. And Irina and Kathleen from Hot Florida. Margaret is here. And Jan is here. And Marianske. And Joanna. And Orit. And Nicoline is here. And Ginny is here. And some more Facebook user friends. And... Sue and Corinne and Faye, Elena, and Jill is saying happy, happy anniversary. <laughs> and Nancy, Nancy is excited. Wanda is here. And Antoinette says, a year long beat party, indeed. <laughs> uh, and Sunshine has a technical question about renewables. Would you please be that good to send this question to info at beadingschool.com? And then the ladies will be in touch and help you out. Thank you so much. Marianne. And Sarah says, a little bit afraid because I think it's maybe a color I have a hard time working with. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Karen, Jessica, Linda is here. Terry is here. Marcy, Serge Terry, <laughs> and Brit Marie is here. 
So usually I am very secretive when it comes to revealing a new Beading School academic team and source of inspiration. It's like, I would like it to be a complete surprise. I would like to experience the big show of <laughs> together with you when we are together during this live video, or maybe it's my guilty pleasure of teasing patient readers, who knows. And this time there was one tiny detail that I told you in advance about the box. And I told you that the box will be full of happy colors and happy beads, as I think that we all need good vibes and hope and trust that the world is a good place <laughs> these days very much. So you will receive a box full of happiness, my absolute favorite color, uh, colors. And let's see, what's the story? In the meanwhile, also Cindy joined us and Eleanor joined us. Nicolene is guessing maybe it's orange, maybe it's black, who knows? <laughs> Nancy is here and Louisa is here and Rhonda uh, has a guess that it's red. And Sunshine says purples and greens and maybe orange. And Tanya also says, I was thinking about a red orange box, but these are not your favorites. Do you know I like to challenge you ladies? Maybe I also like to challenge myself. <laughs> Let's see. And Alison is here and Aniko is here too. But so what's the story? Some of you might know that together with Adam, we love traveling and getting to know different countries, cultures, and of course, people living in faraway lands. And often we long to experience and learn about places in ways that might not be on a casual bucket list. So when I told my friends a few years ago that I would like to sleep in the jungle or travel for three days on a local bus in a country where I don't speak the language. I often got the question from my friends and also from my family, like, aren't you afraid? And I have to admit that instinctively sometimes I am. I am afraid of the unknown, also of unknown colors that I haven't worked with yet. However, I grew to realize that when I get afraid, then those are the specific times when I really have to remind myself that whatever I read on the news, that wherever I go all around the world, I will find their good people. There will be living uh, people living there, just like you and me wanting to live a happy and peaceful life. And at the end, all will be good. I just have to, when I have a question, then I have to try to somehow talk to them, even if we don't have, uh, don't have a common language. And I think that reminding ourselves that wherever we go, there is goodness and hope and trust that the world is a good place is especially important these days when there might be so many, there are so many things every day to, to worry about. So the, uh, back to traveling, I think that how Adam and I like to travel is nothing compared to those who came before us. And I can order a guidebook and study all the details in advance. I can ask my questions on different travelers groups on the internet or just simply connect to the Wi-Fi these days or, or switch on the internet when I, when I feel lost. And I think 
when I think about like really that trust in in that people are good and all will be good at the end, then the kind of traveling that uh, that I, I I love to think about is that, and I I'm a bit like sad that I did not experience it, is the big famous trip of the 60s and the 70s, the hippie trail, all the way from London or Amsterdam through Turkey and Afghanistan and Pakistan and, Bal and the Balkan to India and Nepal. Because that's when you really had to have the trust that all will be good at the end and everyone at the end just wants to be, wants to be happy. So the newest weeding school academy team box is called Flowers in the Hair. And I selected colors that for me strongly symbolize happiness. And of course, the hippie movement. And during the next two months, we will be making jewels that we can imagine that we would love to wear for the big travel, the big hippie trail, while traveling in a hippie van, <laughs> listening to music together, wearing a long skirt, and just trusting people that all will be good at the end. And enjoy the journey. <laughs> so let's see what's inside please let me know if you can hear me if you can see me because i needed to switch to my to my other camera and it's always a risky moment, so please let me know. And Claire says, how exciting. And Rovina, Rovina, hi, Rovina, so fun. Sarah, I hope that your fear is over. Sarah says, yay. Margaret, indeed, flower power. Claire finds it exciting. And Terry, I lived during that time. I'm a true hippie at heart. Terry, then I can't wait for you to share all your stories, your favorite memories. I think this will be an awesome two months period coming to us. And hi, Sharon. And Sherry says, I love this theme and ideas behind it. And Kate says, sounds like the 90s when I did backpack in Europe and parts of Asia. And indeed, it does not matter if it was like different years or different part of the world, but I think, I think <laughs> it's this universal feeling that, yes, I am a bit afraid, but all will be good at the end. And Alison says, I am so excited about this. And in the meanwhile, you say that you can hear me and see me. So let's see the box. Ah, oh, and Tanya likes the jewel on the, on the box top. <laughs> And Ginny is reading a book. Please tell us about it. <laughs> and Margaret can't wait anymore. And I don't want you to make uh, waiting anymore. So I am opening the Fuchsia Level uh, Reading School Academy team box. So this is the bigger box. And there is also a turquoise one. It comes in this pretty pretty box with this wrap, uh, wrap to keep everything safe inside. And this is what you will see first. So I will unpack everything one by one and show it to you. Lots of different happy colors, lots of nice shapes. Some of them we know already, some of them will be, will be new. So if we start with the cabochon that you will need, this will be the second signature jewel, the fuchsia level signature jewel, by the way. So the focal component that you will need is a 27 millimeter 
round glass cabochon. And the one that will be included in your box is in the fuchsia color. So it's a super nice big stone with a foil on the back. In one of my favorite pink shades. Marianska says, love the color of those calves. So let's see more of them. You will receive three different colors of the eight millimeter chatons. I selected three colors that if you would like to mix them, then they end up in a really happy, happy jewel. So there are six pieces of each of them, the same size from Preciosa. And the first one is turquoise. The second one is the pure amethyst opal. So I'm going to open those to show you. These don't have a foil. The back is spikier than the top. And since this is an opal color, then it's not completely see-through, but it, it uh, lets the light shine through still in a, in a kind of a mystic way, I would say, thanks to the opal color. And the third one is light topaz. And for me, this is absolute sunshine and absolute happiness. This is one of my favorite colors. And I'm really curious, how will you like working with yellow? Because I think that it's a bit of a controversial color, but it is worth it, really, really worth it to uh, play with it, even if it's not a love of love of first sight, because I uh, I see very often how we learn to love it. Wanda says beautiful colors together. Robin also likes the big ones. They also have some smaller ones. So these are glass cabochons in twelve millimeter size, and they come in amethyst color. They are foiled from the back. And I love 12 millimeter cabochons, by the way, because if you bezel them with peyote, then you need 32 beads all around. And it's a good number because it can be divided to 16, 8, 4, 2. So you can come up with lots of different kinds of embellishments all around. And Ginny says, a bit of yellow often, often makes all the colors pop. Absolutely. And Nancy also says, I have many topaz and citrine, uh, which will match perfectly. And Nicolene also loves uh, topaz and purple. And Wanda was looking forward to use yellow in her jewels. So this is a good time then to match either your yellow cabochons or the purple or the turquoise, because I think that all of these combinations would create a very happy jewel. You will also find a pair of glass drops in metal settings in your fuchsia box. So this comes in the champagne yellow color. They are beer drop shaped. The loop is closed. So I like the closed loop because I can attach them with some size 15 seed beads and there is no risk that the beads will slide out. And Terry says, I want a yellow kick, so this is so great. Oh, that's so nice, Terry. And Tanya says, the colors you showed are the colors from the beading school mandala in all his variations. Love all the beauties you have showed us so far. Tanya, what a good thought. Indeed, like these are my happy colors and the beading school mandala is also consisting of my happy colors. So it's not a coincidence. <laughs> 
to match the beautiful opal chatons and of course everything else we also have some four millimeter preciosa bicon beads here in two opal colors one of them is chrysolite opal one of them is amethyst opal so these are four millimeter ones and marta says i need a yellow push there is some yellow but i wanted to keep this box well balanced also in case that I know that sometimes for some people yellow is hard to love so even if it will if it's like out of your comfort zone it's not too much I hope and I hope that hope that you will love working with these opals very much and then let's see we also often need three millimeter preciosa bicon beads and these come in the crystal aurum full color so this is the three millimeter size robina says yellow has grown on me now i love it it was the same for me actually too for a long time i thought that this is a color that i don't want to work with but in fact after a few experiments, I really learned to love it. And Wanda loves the opals. Actually, loves, loves, loves the opals, not just loves. <laughs> and then we also have here a big bunch of six millimeter round pearls. Check pressed glass. You can include them also in your designs themselves, but also if you would like to create a beaded necklace matching the jewels, the pendants that you will be beading, then you can combine it maybe with some fire polished beads, maybe even with some of the bicons and make a matching, matching necklace for the pendants that you make. So this is a deep dark bronze, jet bronze or dark bronze color to give the whole theme a bit of depth. I love the happy colors, but I also would like to make them look elegant. So my trick to do that is always to add some of my favorite metallics. And then there will also be some smaller round pearls, of course. And maybe you are surprised. There is a fourth uh, color in this, in this box, the opaque green, or as we like to call it, the avocado or the chicken. <laughs> so we often joke about, about the, the name of this color and to show you how it looks like together. Margaret says, what a great green. <laughs> Sarah says, kind of started to like yellow a tiny, tiny bit, but I am up for the challenge. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that, Sarah. So this, the chicken ones, they are of the four millimeter size, round beads, not faceted. So let's see, let's see how will we use them. And there are also some smaller round beads, two shades. So whenever you will need three millimeter round beads, you can choose between the jet bronze and between the opaque pink. So you might actually uh, notice that these are the pink ones that I have used in the uh, sounds bracelet that we were beading uh, last Friday. So actually now I can tell you <laughs> that when I was designing the sounds bracelet, then I was using already beads from the newest box. So I am now even designing a matching pendant and a matching 
a pair of earrings is already finished to go with the sounds bracelet. And Jill says, a lot of colors uh, here I do not normally use. This is wonderful. And I love your excitement about, about the novelties, Jill. And hi, Robin. And let's see what else. We always need, of course, fire polished beads too, faceted fire polished beads. So if we start from the smallest one, then we have here some true to fire polished beads, also in the jet bronze colors. I love true twos because they are nearly as small as the size 11 round seed beads from Miyuki, but thanks to the facets, they are really sparkly. So also in bezels, they look great. I also used them in the big jewel that is on the cover of this box. And once I added this, then I was happy with it. <laughs> I have here also three different colors of three millimeter fire polished beads. So I have here opaque turquoise. Oh my God, and Terry says, can you believe I am already getting ideas for the challenge? That's so nice, Terry. Please jot them down, write them down so you don't forget, draw, whatever. Just preserve those ideas. <laughs> so this is the opaque turquoise. And then I also have here the opaque olivine that matches the four millimeter round pearls that I have showed you earlier. And then to match the opal preciosa bicons, there is also an opal color of the fire polished beads, in this case, the milky aquamarine. And let's move on to a bigger size. So I have also two bags of uh, four millimeter fire polished beads here. One is exactly the same as the three millimeter ones opaque turquoise and then one is the milky amethyst some of these beads can come in different shades in your box always matching the color uh, combination of course but sometimes we had to select two or even three colors to fill all the boxes because simply the manufacturers were not able to provide us that many from one color that, uh, that we needed from all the boxes. So I know, for example, that in this box, uh, that I got from the ladies in the treasury in the morning. There is a darker shade of uh, milky amethyst, but there can also be a lighter shade of it in your own specific box, but always matching each other. We always make sure. And now let's move on to some shaped beads. What do you think? So, one of whenever I ask beading friends that what is your favorite shape, then uh, I, I very often get the answer that it's the super duo. So there are this time also super duos included. And this is actually a premiere because this is the first time that super duos are included in a beading school academy team box. These ones are in the opaque yellow silver Picasso color. So slightly yellow, slightly bronze with a bit of a silver touch when you look closer. It's a very interesting color. This is the one that I have used for the sound bracelet, sounds bracelet. We have also another baggie of two whole beads here. Face happy for the super duos. 
And Robin says in the meanwhile, with the different colors, we see varying creations in the group, which is so fun to see. I agree, Robin. So the second bag of two hole beads that we have here are the two hole cabochons. They are six millimeter wide and they come in the color of chalk white red luster. This is a bit more on the softer, more romantic spectrum of pink tones, I would say. So I also wanted to bring some softer tones into the color palette. Uh, so when you use together strong colors like the opaque turquoise and the opaque green, then you can balance out the strengths by adding a bit of this softer pink or some of the opal beads, for example. I really love the look of these three together. What do you ladies think? There are, by the way, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of the two millimeter cabochons. And I actually used them in the big bezel. So I know that Nicolin likes to bezel cabochons with big beads. So I hope that you will like this a lot. <laughs> And I'm glad that you like the, like the combination. Then there is some more of the two hole beads. And these are the round drop duos. The size is five times seven millimeters. These look like little petals. So I'm pretty sure that some for designing friends, Susie, Veronka, or maybe uh, Alicia or Gina will come up with a flower for your hair with the round drop duos. But in fact, the big bezel from the cover on the box, it's also hiding some round drop duos. They are just not visible on the picture. And then, okay, for Margaret, this is a color that she likes. She's not so sure about the combination, but, but this is a color that she likes, and I'm very happy, Margaret. And then we have here some more flowers, flowers for your hair. These are the lily flower beads that we had earlier in the tulip mania box. And we also were playing with this in the, uh, in the Toscana bracelet during the International Beading Week. Some of you will receive these in a golden tone, some of you in this alabaster green Picasso. These are one hole beads. They are Czech pressed glass beads. They are flat. There is also an article about using the flat and all kinds of flower beads on the beading school blog. So make sure to look it up. It gives you lots of tips already for the lily flower beads. And then I actually have here some more fire polished beads. And this is a shape in two sizes that we haven't worked with yet. So the smaller of them, it's actually called a parachute bead. And because it looks like a little parachute when you look at it. So it's a fire polished bead in the size five times seven, five times seven. And often we tend to think that fire polished beads can be only round shaped or like little ovals. We call them rounds, but they are in fact little ovals. But the truth is that they don't have to be round. They can be this drop shape too. So you will receive them in the jade color. Tanya says, what a nice bead. 
<laughs> and Kate says, I love the lily flowers. I bought an unseemly number of these after these past few boxes. I'm glad that you like working with them. Oh, Rovina says, you and your team pick amazing combinations. I love that this group is so experimental with colors as well. I am learning to step out of my comfort zone and I couldn't be happier to par be part of such a great group. Oh, Rovina, like, thank you for your kind words and also thank you for bringing your ideas and inspiration into the group because that's what makes it a good place that we put together everything, all the pictures, ideas, what we have, and we constantly learn from each other, every member. So, and Angelika says these were, this was the first time that she sees the parachutes. Then I have a slightly different fire polished drop here for you too. And these are super nice to hang at the bottom of a pair of earrings, for example. These are nine times 20 millimeters long. And the ones that I have, they are yellow, kind of yellow opal actually, with a bit of a Picasso finish at the top and at the bottom and someone says it's bananas. <laughs> totally, this is a banana colored bead. We have already avocado, now we have banana too. I know they look yummy ladies, but <laughs> no leaking, promise. <laughs> okay, so bananas go back in the baggie and let's see what else do we have here. Um, when we were... Oh, Facebook user is Miriam. Hi, Miriam. <laughs> and Brit Marie says, banana or a potato? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so when the boxes landed actually a few days ago on Zuzi's and Veronica's bead mats, then Veronica told me about the beads that I am going to I'm going to show you now that, wow, what a good idea to select this for a hippie themed box. But actually it was a complete coincidence, but I really had to laugh about it when she noticed that. So <laughs> these are little mushroom beads, also the ones that I used in the I used in the uh, sound bracelet and these are three times four millimeter mushroom beads in a matching color for my lily flowers. So it's alabaster green Picasso and as you could see uh, during the Friday video the mushroom sits very nicely uh, in the middle of a little circle created from the super duos, for example. Claire, you ladies are very polite. Bananas were not my first thoughts. <laughs> and Tanya will make earrings to commemorate burners. <laughs> So now there is another shape coming that might be new for you. And after talking about avocados and bananas and even half peeled potatoes, as Marianska says, uh, and, and mushrooms, like a complete soup, then what do you say? Do we need maybe some pumpkins for or? For our, for our plate. So when I first saw these pumpkin beads, then my first thought was like, oh my God, this will look great as dividers between uh, some beaded elements. But then when I finally had them in my hand, then I thought that we might even decorate them 
uh, with some seed beads because the lines of seed beads might sit nicely in the in the carved shape of the pumpkin. So it's in fact, as Faye says, a fruit and vegetable box. <laughs> Miriam says it's perfect for a soup. <laughs> so I did not know that I'm actually making a cookbook for you today and for the next two months, but it seems so. And that reminds me of Kata's amazing pumpkin soup. And I think the banana bread recipe that we shared in the club, so many of us were baking it, was from Ula, right? So there is actually, because the club is more than just beading, there is actually a beading school club recipe book hiding there between the files. And you will find there the pumpkin soup from Kata and the banana bread recipe from Ula. So make sure to look them up during the next two months. Not only tutorials for beading, there are also recipes coming for you. <laughs> so these are dark browns to make sure that when you put them uh, in between the beaded, colorful beaded motifs, then the dark bronze color will make the colorful motifs pop, actually. And Tanya has a super good question. Is the pumpkin bead the same as a melon bead? It is a bit different. The melon, it will be more roundish and with similar carvings, but the carvings run completely from top to bottom. And they are they are more towards a round shape uh, than this. So these are pushed in really like a pumpkin. And the carvings, I think this uh, this is a really nice little detail that they stop in the middle of the bead. And Marta says, I'm starting to feel like a hippie now. And Joanna is here. She says, I'm late, but what I have seen so far is gorgeous. And Jan is, Jan is hungry. I am hungry too. Sue asks, is this considered a rondel? I would say yes, it's a type of a rondel. Good question. So the pumpkins are, by the way, 8 times 11. So these are on the bigger spectrum. And let's see what else. When you want to create flowers, then you might also need some little daggers. So these are mini daggers in the size 2.5 times 6 millimeters. And I love the name of the color. It's called Persian Turquoise Bronze Picasso. I will unpack this. So when you compare these to ordinary daggers, then I find these a little bit more elegant because there is actually they are actually pushed in for, from two sides and there is a line running in the middle of the bead. I don't know how much it is visible on the camera, but... Yeah, so the, the surface is not completely flat. And hi, Katie. And Katie says, that's a nice color of that mini dagger. And Miriam says, the colors in the new box are super, super nice again. Thank you, Miriam. Like, I had a feeling I told you today that you will like it. <laughs> Okay, Ginny says, let's get let's get beating flower power. <laughs> Martinez says, looks like the Rizzo. They are similar, but once you will have them on your bead mat, then you will see the difference. These are like pushed in from two sides and the Rizzo's are more round. And I have here some beads that I will put aside because they are so beautiful that I want to show you at the end, but Let's see the Miyuki's that the box is bringing to you. So in the Fuchsia box, I have as many, we have as many as four colors of Miyuki Delica colors waiting for you. All of them in a matte 
opaque glazed uh, effect to make sure that even if they are so different, because we are working with lots of colors, then thanks to the same finish, they will look good together in a jewel. So we have here Honey Jewel. It's a lighter chicken shitish avocado ish green color, but softer than the fire polished beads or the pressed rounds. Then we have here Mauve. This is between purple and pink. Then I have here, ah, there has to be a yellow. And this is actually one of my favorite yellow Miyuki's. It's called Pineapple. But goes well, Pine pineapple, oh my God, don't put it in the soup, okay? Pineapple goes well with the bananas. <laughs> and then <laughs> we have here a neutral when you want to soften your tones, or if you don't want to work at once with so many different shades, then you can radiate towards a more neutral palette if you go for the rainbow ivory from this collection. Wanda says, I'm getting more and more excited. <laughs> Oh, ladies, me too. Me too. I can't wait to see all your happy bead mats. Sorry, I needed a bit of water. Then I have here also three little baggies of number 15s. One of them is a metallic to make everything look nice and elegant. As I said, that's my trick to even with the happy colorful tones, use some metallics. So this is the metallic light bronze. And when you want to go, uh, when you want to go for a pop color, then you will always also have a choice of opaque glaze turquoise. And Terry says, I have the desire to find my bell-bottom pants from the 70s. Oh my God, ladies, the box will even like uh, have an impact on our wardrobes during the next two months, I think. <laughs> and then besides those two colors, in the fuchsia box, there will also be an extra gram of something very precious. So these are Miyuki round seed beads with real gold plating. So just for a bit of decoration on the most precious places, maybe the end of the petals or next to the cabochons to give some sparkle to your, to your jewels. And Kathy says she works a lot with the bronze tones of Miyuki. So same, same here. I love both the bronze tones. And some size 11s, also around size 11s. A dark bronze also to make everything look elegant and unified. And recently I discovered also, these are not new, but new for me, the spacer beads from Miyuki. So you will also find a matte tone, a matted multi iris tone of Miyuki spacer beads in, uh, in your box. And Unfortunately, I don't remember. I apologize. Someone was adding Charlotte's in between uh, the gem duos in one of her jewels 
in the beading school club and she shared her trick that it looks a bit better if they are divided when joined into a circle, then I think that the spacer beads would also be great for that. Oh, Marta did that. Thank you so much for the idea, Marta. Oh, and I managed to include a color that Katy doesn't have. <laughs> That's so nice. And now let's look at the components and then two extra beads that I would like to show you at the very end. There will also be a tassel, a long 12 millimeter tassel included in your box. So that will come in different colors, all of them matching the colors in the box. And you might create, for example, a pendant on its own from the tassel or hang it below, the, below a pendant. Or if you are not into tassels in your jewelry, then you might even uh, make a decoration in your flat that you can look at all the time. Oh, Miriam, Miriam says, I learned from Erica to use nude, neutral colors to calm everything down. I am grateful for this great advice. Thank you. Miriam, I am very uh, happy that it helps you. <laughs> Margaret is asking, in the future or in all boxes? <clears throat> I think that the tassel is in all the boxes, but I, don't, I am not 100% sure. So tomorrow we will publish an article in the virtual classroom of the Beading School Academy. And you can check the list that if it's also in the turquoise. I don't want to say for 100% without the list in front of me. Face as key charm. Faye makes lots of non-jewelry objects, sometimes decorating uh, her uh, clothes, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, making little installations. So Faye has lots of good ideas. <laughs> and now let's look into the metal components. So I have here three pairs of earrings. Let's start with a shape that you know from the bead shop already. So these are the hippie ear wires. I simply had to include this in the box. I love the little uh, metal ball on them, or actually three balls, two small ones and a bigger one. And I was thinking that if we make some earrings from the pumpkin beads, then this will be a great match with the earrings. Then I have here a pair of boho butterfly ear wires in golden color. And these are super cute. I actually already made a pair of earrings with this. So there are two little, little butterflies sitting on the ear wires. And Margaret says, so I will wait for my box. Actually, lots of the boxes are already traveling. The whole team, they were working super hard today. We also asked for some extra help for this week to make sure that everyone gets the boxes as soon as possible. So <laughs> tomorrow and... We will, tomorrow we will continue, but already today, lots of boxes started to travel. 
and then a third pair these are ear studs boho flower ear studs in antique bronze so there are two cute flowers with a closed loop at the bottom waiting for you you might even glue a little bead or a rhinestone in the middle of those flowers, I think. We definitely should try that. What do you think, ladies? <laughs> oh, Jill says, I received notice already that mine is on its way. <laughs> and Katie says, I love the depth of those ear, ear studs. Same here. That's what caught my attention, that even the petals they are textured there are no stoppers with these so you will need to add your own stoppers and let's look into the clasps i have two clasps sitting in the box one of them is a simpler one with a little hidden flower. We call this hidden flower because when you look at the loop of the two components, then they are not just ordinary loops, but they look like details of flowers, both on the O part and the T part of the toggle clasp. Nancy finds the little butterflies cute. <laughs> and then in the fuchsia box, we also all have a clasp garden clasp called boho flower. <laughs> and Faye says, Ula is going to be super surprised with this box. <laughs> If she doesn't peek at the team first. I did not open the team part yet. So <laughs> the only way to learn about the box is now and the video. So again, when I look at, look at this clasp, then it reminded me of the texture of the pumpkins, but also uh, when I look, it, look at it, then I already imagined the super duos connected to each other, for example, in this shape. It's a box clasp, so you need to push this and pull out this part. And then when you uh, push it in, then there is a little click and then it sits safely inside. It's super good quality. It's from Clasp Garden, which is a German company manufacturing clasps for decades. And, and they are they make, I think, the highest quality clasps that are available. And Margaret says for the sound bracelet, exactly, exactly that would look, that would be an awesome match, I think. <laughs> And Sarah says, love that clasp. It's hard to find good clasps in bronze. Then I'm glad that we made you happy with this. I was also pleasantly surprised when I discovered this. It's somewhere in between the um, typical bronze and the antique gold color. And then... We can also play with these hollow circles. They are 16 millimeter wide and they come from the same manufactory from where we have all the super nice cubic zirconia components. So they are really nice and smooth. And I was thinking about the possibility of attaching circles of different colors of seed beads around them, but also fire polished beads. Yeah, it says indeed with brick stitch. 
And I'm sure that we will come up during the next two months with lots and lots of possibilities besides Burke Stitch 2. And I have here two super nice extras. One of them is called an almond mandala charm. Chose this name because of this shape. And you can hang it at the bottom of the of a pendant. So the charm is actually hollow, so it's light. But it has this awesome, nice structure. And Jessica says more food. Indeed, you're right. <laughs> And Margareta has a good idea that the circles, you can even use them to make your own, uh, uh, your own uh, uh, toggle clasps. Marcy says that charm is gorgeous. Brit Marie asks if they are nickel free. According to my best knowledge, they are. So I hope that they will be all right for you. And as Miriam says, you can even bead on it like a filigree. And this is, by the way, 12 times 53 millimeters. So it's a longer one. For comparison, this is the three centimeter, nearly three centimeter big, big cabochon. And then I have one more charm here in golden color. And it consists of, for me, they look like rays of sunshine and the sun. And then we have here these tassels from ball chain, and then some cubic zirconia set around this little circle with a pin in the middle. So in fact, you might remember the half drilled, half drilled uh, purse from the previous box. So this will come in the fuchsia box, by the way. And you will have a choice of a six and an eight millimeter half drilled pearl in two different colors in your box. And you can decide if you want to glue on the six millimeter one. But in that case, you will need to uh, shorten a little bit the pin in the middle. It's the friendly warning. And okay, where is the hole? And then more of the cubic zirconia. The cubic zirconia is visible. Or if you don't want to shorten, then you can glue in the eight millimeter one, but then less from the cubic zirconia will be visible. Sue says, I love the charms. Sherry also likes them. And Sharon. <laughs> and I think I will actually actually uh, attach this to the bottom of the, of the pendant that is on the box to complete it. And then, I have the last, last, last beads now in my hand. The ones that actually you saw them on the box top and Ula spotted them that they are actually table cut flat drops. They can come in two different colors in your box. I have the yellow ones. So these I love the shape of them because 
how the edge curves, then actually I think it will be possible to bezel them. But also, <laughs> also we can attach them at the bottom of earrings or I am actually still considering adding an option to this pendant and I want to try to attach these, as Marianske calls them, potato veggies <laughs> around the big bezel. So then you will have a choice. No promises yet. I'm, uh, I have the main part, but my but creativity is still going on. So you might have a choice to add the potato veggies around. I will keep playing with them. But also, as Katie says, even without the bezel, bezel, they look super nice. The edges are like Picasso, so they match the rest of the beads super nicely. So ladies, I was very happy to see you getting excited about this happy beading team. And I can't wait to see the boxes landing on your bead mats, to see the box of happy colors and happy shapes and a box of soup ingredients <laughs> landing on your bead mats. <laughs> and I can't wait to start creating with you. So if you have any more questions, then I, I would love to answer them now. Ariana says, so many colors. This will be a challenge, but I am excited to go on this adventure. Your thoughts in the beginning describes it very well. Loved that. I'm very happy that they resonate with you, Ariana. And hi, Cynthia. And Joanna, you have collected another fantastic team box. So excited to see it when it arrives. I hope it will be super soon, Joanna. And what makes this big adventure of feeding school that awesome and fantastic are you, ladies? <laughs> because it's one thing only to collect the beads, but it would be nothing without your enthusiasm and creativity. So thank you so much, ladies. Jessica has a question. Are there uh, a hole in those? Yes, there are holes. They run from top to bottom. So you can hang these nicely under a beaded motif, for example. Thank you so much, Tanya and everyone. So Sarah is asking, which is the other color of the table cut drops? Uh, it might be a bluish tone. Let's see. I'm not 100% sure if we had at the end enough of the yellow or we had to add also the alternate color. But if there will be an alternate, then it will be blue. Katty says, will we go to San Francisco to wear some flowers in our hair? Definitely. Or at least we will dress up for it. <laughs> Nina. Hi, Nina. She says, they look like mango slices. <laughs> I love mangoes, so that's good. Jill and Margaret says, say that it will be a challenge. And because they are not yet comfortable with these colors. And
No, you didn't hear me, right? No sound. So let's repeat it. <laughs> Team working hard. Erika in Slovakia. Erika traveling on Friday. <laughs> so on Friday, there won't be a no one has to be alone because I will be on the on the road. But next Tuesday, I will be waiting for you with coffee time with Erika. And I will show you the first designs that I have created and also what Susie and Veronica create, create with the boxes until then. And we will also put together, of course, the material list so you can start planning ahead. So thank you so much, ladies, for your attention today. And we don't have no one has to be the one on Friday, but I think that it will be a great time to catch up on designs that you might not have enough time to work with. So I hope that I can, I can see many, 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 maybe a little bit older designs or designs from boxes that you did not have time for. Thank you so much, ladies, and wishing you a nice, creative rest of the week. Bye-bye. <laughs>